Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 3. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the recasting of Jonathan Kent, which we briefly talked about in a video the other day, but today we have some new news. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about Superman Lois Season 3, and about that shocking news that came out the other day to do with Jordan Alas leaving the show. And so as I previously mentioned, it came out of completely nowhere that Jordan didn't show back up in Vancouver in preparation for season 3 of Superman Lois to start shooting. And so he notified the studio, or his representatives did, that he would not be returning to Superman Lois ever again. And so now they are in the midst of looking to recast Jordan's role as Jonathan Kent. Obviously, he is a pivotal character in the show, and so that's why this news was so shocking, because he is such a pivotal character, and his relationship with his brother obviously is the biggest thing that he's got going on the show. But according to the report, when it was announced that he wouldn't be coming back, it seems he's been dealing with some mental issues, which I totally support him actually not coming back for, because if that's the best for him, obviously that's what we want to root for. Because a TV show isn't the most important thing at the end of the day, it's more important that he takes care of himself, so I wish him all the best. But as a Superman Lois fan, and as someone who covers the Arrowverse on my YouTube channel, obviously we have to talk about the potential for his recasting and what's going to happen next. Now, we got some interesting hints that have been going around online as of the last couple of days, and the most interesting teaser that we've got in regards to actually Jonathan Kent being recast is, there is this account on Twitter, at SupermanFan27, who pointed this out, Apparently, Superman Lois' official Instagram account and Alex Garfin, who plays Jordan Kent on the show, just started following a new actor on Instagram, and so this actor is called Julian Rees, he's a young actor, and it must be pointed out that the Superman Lois account and the official CW accounts as a whole don't follow random people, they only follow people associated with the show, and Julian has had no past relationship with the show, even if he was maybe a friend of Alex Garfin, which I think I heard someone say he could have been online, it's unlike the CW's official accounts to actually follow someone who is not involved in the show. And so, considering their very little following count in terms of who they actually follow, you can presume that this actor, Julian Reese, is going to be coming to Superman Lois. And what are they looking to cast right now? Well, they're looking to cast Jonathan Kent. So there is a very high chance that Julian is going to be our new Jonathan Kent. I can't really give much opinion about Julian because I haven't seen any of his work. He's relatively young and he's similar to Alex Garfin and obviously Jordan Elsass because they didn't do too much work prior to Superman Lois. But if they followed him and if he has been cast as Jonathan Kent, I'm sure they've made a good choice because obviously there's a lot to build upon from the past version of Jonathan that we've had. So if they have faith in him, I have faith in him and I really look forward to seeing this new version of Jonathan Kent coming in season 3. And like I pointed out before, I don't believe Jonathan is going to have such a huge role at the start of the season just to ease fans into this new reality where we have a recasted version of Jonathan. So I think probably he's not going to get powers straight away. It's going to be a gradual kind of path for him if he ever does end up getting powers. I think for now the main focus is still going to be on Jordan and him becoming this new version of Superboy. So in the back half of this video we're going to be answering some Superman Lois related questions. These questions actually came in about two to three weeks ago. So this was actually prior to the Jonathan Kent announcement and Jordan Elsass not being in the show anymore, so we don't have any questions related to that, but it's in relation to Superman Lois Season 3 as a whole, and so we got a good chunk of questions we're going to be answering and talking about, because I think some of these will be very interesting for you guys, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So Emil on YouTube asks, I would suggest that General Lane's comment about Superman being the only hero in Superman Lois is merely what the DoD believes to be true on Earth. 
if an alternate Kara exists but decided to never reveal herself, that could provide an excuse for Supergirl to appear in the future. Could be Melissa, could be someone else, either way it would be a different character from the Supergirl who lives on Earth Prime. So what do I think about this? I think this is a good point that Emil actually points out because we've been talking about maybe a potential Supergirl showing up on Superman Lois at some point doesn't need to be in season 3, we're just talking generally about the future, and so I believe what you said about General Lane's comment about Superman being the only superhero to be on Superman Lois's Earth is merely what the DoD believes to be true, I think that's in fact true, and so they definitely have the ability to say, oh, look, this is what we just believe to be true, and when a superhero surfaces, they're just like, okay, we totally missed out on that, and that's just fine. And I think that's kind of where we can go from here and where we can introduce new superheroes with superpowers because they can just be kind of vigilantes that operate silently and they're not as obvious as Superman. Obviously wearing a very bright suit flying around everywhere, it's clear that he is a superhero but the vigilantes are less so seen in public. And so if an alternate Kara exists but decided to never reveal herself that could provide a good excuse for Supergirl to appear in the future and that would be a good way to establish a different Supergirl from the one that lives in Earth Prime. I completely agree with this. I think this would actually be probably one of the best ways to go around introducing a new Supergirl or maybe a Power Girl by saying she's been here all this time just like Kara was here all this time while Superman was going around on Earth Prime and then you can establish oh now she is just deciding to appear for the very first time and this is Power Girl or this is Supergirl on Superman Lois's Earth. She is not the Kara that we know, it's played by a different actor, she looks different because she's a different Supergirl. And obviously the other option would be to establish a Supergirl or a Power Girl that has come from another Earth. However, as Emil points out in his comment, it's very clear that the showrunner Todd Helbing of Superman Lois does not want to go into multiversal stuff, like he wants to keep it at least somewhat contained to Superman Lois's Earth, so I would say the idea of maybe Supergirl already existing is more feasible for Superman Lois. Okay, so Vicky Kent on YouTube asks, do you think Clark would work on the Gazette with Chrissy and Lois? I think this is something that they've been definitely building up towards for a long time, and so I think, yes, it's probably going to happen in Season 3, just to involve Clark into the more investigative part of the show a bit more, because obviously he's mainly been Superman and being a father, that's pretty much his role in the last couple of seasons, but now maybe we can explore his kind of journalistic side that we only briefly got mention of in the past couple of seasons, so good question Vicky, I think that is definitely going to be coming. And so, let's move on to the next question, this comes from Ambers Rao on YouTube who asks, Superman and Jordan, and even Lois leveled up, guess the Flash caught up with them, John did not. I'm not saying he's going to be a supervillain, however the lack of family drama, it makes sense that whoever this new guy is, John is going to be used into helping him slash it for the first half of the season, is it possible that John can be a villain? So. This kind of links into our main topic at the start of the video in regards to Jonathan Kent being recast because Ambrose is actually talking about, you know, the fact that Jonathan isn't as developed in terms of his powers and he's not as useful as his brother and even Lois got a level up, Superman got a level up and Superboy got the biggest level up last season but Jonathan kind of was just there and obviously he was using X Kryptonite at a certain point, he had powers but those powers got taken away when he stopped using XK and so is it possible for him due to you know him not being the most perfect person in the family and obviously he's had all these issues, could he become a villain? I would say it's unlikely he's going to become a villain only due to the fact that last season we saw an evil version of Jonathan Kent, that obviously being the version from Bizarro World. So because that was so recent, I'm probably going to say it's less likely that he's actually going to be showing up again as some sort of a new villain. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Manachem on YouTube who asks, Do Lana and Sarah know about John Henry and Natalie being from the Black Suit Superman universe and that 
Lois was the mother slash wife. So as of right now, you can presume they told them a lot, but I don't know how relevant it is to talk about John Henry Irons and Natalie, because I feel like that's something more personal that they would have to deal with themselves if they want to actually talk to Lana and Sarah. They don't actually have much of a relationship, obviously Sarah and Natalie do, but I'm talking about Lana and John Henry. I think they've only met like one, maybe two times, and that is about it. Karinga on YouTube asks another question. They ask, any ideas on Superman Low Season 3's villain besides Intergang? So, as of right now, there hasn't been too many teasers about a Season 3 villain for Superman Lois besides Bruno Mannheim and Intergang. He's clearly going to be one of the main focuses on the investigative part of next season. He is going to be at least a partial villain. I don't think he's going to be the main big bad of the entire season. Normally those big bads are a little bit more cosmic than say some sort of gang or a gang leader. So I think Lois is specifically going to be working on taking down Bruno Mannheim, maybe with John Henry Irons because of the fact that he was the one who got that information from Diggle at the end of last season. And so I believe that's going to be continuing at the start of next season. And beyond that, I would say probably going to stick around for a lot of the season, that being Bruno Mannheim and the whole storyline. However, I don't think it's going to continue for all too long. And I think maybe by the end of the season, they're going to be able to defeat him and somehow link to that story, you'll get some sort of bigger big bad that we're going to have to deal with. So that pretty much does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If this video was good and you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel. Also remember to tell me in the comments below, are you excited about this new Jonathan Kent potentially coming? And also please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.